I got myself a couple of Italian Rinaldi axes. This video is going to be about one of them, the little Rinaldi Milano. I'm going to make a handle for it, and I'm going to use an experimental piece of wood, so hopefully that will be interesting. And I'm going to try it out. I'm going to do a bunch of chopping and hewing tasks and see how it does. And then I'm going to go over what it was like to use it and how the axe performed, how it held an edge, all that good stuff. All right, I'm very excited. I just got a package from Canada Post, shipped from Quebec. It is from Emmanuel Belanger, and he has uh, sent me something from his shop, which is La Cogne. Excuse my pronunciation if it's incorrect. And it's a little uh, Christmas present to myself because what he is selling is Rinaldi axes. Look at this. This is the American from Rinaldi slip bit Italian axe. Look at that sheath. All right, it's got a decent courtesy grind. Of course, I will polish that up and get it cutting very well. This is the 1100 gram Rinaldi American pattern. And oh yes, what else did I get? The Milano. This is a smaller 600 gram Rinaldi Milano. Also got the sheath. These are nice sheaths. Yeah. And not too expensive either. And yeah, this is looks like a, it's going to be a great little axe. It's also a slip fit, much smaller. And I, I'm hoping that this one will uh, do well at carpentry and carving tasks. So I can't wait to try it out. Yeah, of course, this will be great to bring uh, camping or for yard work. Uh, I'm sure it'll be an absolute beast at yard work with that wide cutting edge. You can order them with handles, but I like to make handles. So I decided uh, that I'm going to make my own. It should be pretty simple because these are slip fits. Easier. For the America, I've got this piece of rock elm that's crooked. Um, it went around a big knot. And I think I can do something interesting with that. And then for the Milano... I'm going to see if I can use this piece of buckthorn. So buckthorn is basically experimental. I can't find even what the hardness values are for it or anything like that. But it seems pretty hard to me and I have tried it before on a brush hook. And so far it's held up well so I want to try it on the little Milano. I think this piece will be just big enough to get a handle out of.
dead straight. All right, so here it is, the Rinaldi Milano with the handle I just finished at a buckthorn wood. Um, this is experimental, but I really do like the way it looks. I've used it for a brush hook handle before, and so far it's held up well with that. So now I'm putting it to a little bit more stringent test uh, as a small axe handle. Uh, this one is about uh, just over 17 inches long, um, measuring from the top of the eye. So. It's long enough to use two-handed, uh, but still comfortable with one. I'm hoping I don't uh, fall into the dreaded kind of no man's land um, of, of handle length, but you know, being a simple handle, if it does bother me, I can always cut it off. And uh, being a slip fit, I can always make another handle and swap them out whenever I want. So one of the nice things about that, it's uh, sharpened up, it'll shave. And I'm going to try and use it quickly this morning uh, before I have to do other things for today. I think that what I'm going to use it for first is to get some wood for the next buckthorn handle. So I'm going to cut a buckthorn. Before I do that, I'm going to get some bent over cedars out of my way. great use case for a, a small short axe like this with a nice wide blade is, is just great for in the bushes. All right so here's a buckthorn. This is quite big for a buckthorn. This one's probably over uh, six inches wide here, even wider at the base. I'm hoping there's at least one handle in this six thick section here. Um, so I'm going to try and get a piece of that and uh, use a little Milano. Okay, so I've dragged this into the open. It's still pretty, still pretty thick here. Um, it would be more fair to this axe if I if I put a longer handle on it for this kind of job. But this is the handle I've got right now. So I'm gonna buck this so that it's small enough for me to carry back, and then I'll decide how I chop it up later. So, yep, quick little bucking test. So 
Works pretty nicely for a little guy. This is only 600 grams. All right, so I tried to carry this log out. I decided it's still too heavy. I'm gonna take another section off. I'm gonna bucket again. Remember, this is frozen buckthorn, so it's already hard. You know, it's hard if I'm making handles out of it. Assume that's still in frame. I right, battery just died of my camera. I'm gonna finish. Just finish this buck with the cell phone camera. There you go. So I'm going to try it for carving, which is something I think it'll be good at. We'll trim up this piece of buckthorn uh, and leave it to dry. All right, I'm not sure if this uh, if this if this bolt is going to work out, but the axe definitely did. The edge is held up for the sort of uh, coarse carving and hewing things that I thought it would be good at. It is good at. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm happy with this, and uh, glad I got it. So I decided, since it's a slip fit, uh, and I can make other handles, that I'm going to do that. So I'm going to give uh, the Rinaldi a slightly longer handle. Uh, I made that. I'm continuing the buckthorn experiment. So I got this one. It's it's a few inches longer, but I think that's going to make a big difference. This is uh, 23 inches, and um, <laughs> hopefully it won't break right away. It's a yeah, nice slim light. Um, this is uh, it's an experiment. We'll see. All right, got my new longer handle, and I've got another buckthorn on my hit list. And so what I'm gonna do is <laughs> quick cut it down, the sun's going down, see if I can get it processed uh, in a short amount of time uh, with this little <laughs> 600 gram ax. Um, see how it does.
this is quite frozen. <laughs> so it warmed up a little bit today, but it started off this morning minus 20. And uh, yeah, the tree is still frozen. I mean, it's still like, I don't know, minus 10 or 12 now. Still sharp. All right, last of the light. Uh, the light's very nice to my eyes. I bet the camera's not gonna pick it up. Nice sunset going on, but uh, I'm gonna buck uh, the last, the biggest buck, and then pack up and head in. Decent sized piece of firewood. Okay, just back in from the cold and against that that frozen hard buckthorn, um, the edge has held up pretty well. There's a few little dings. It's probably dirt in the bark because the main edge just held up quite well. Yeah, I think the primary angle is 1718 
and then the uh, it's, it's got a micro bevel that's a little steeper. I did have I did have a look. I was accumulating some edge damage um, when I had a slightly sh <laughs> slightly more acute micro bevel. I steepened it up a little bit, and now it's now it's holding. So um, it, yeah, it held up very well, performed very well, uh, especially under the circumstances. Uh, freezing cold, very hard wood. Um, yeah, the core of that tree, like right near the ground, was was just frozen. Like you slam the axe, and it was like slamming it into wet frozen wood. Um, a little higher up, the wood uh, cut more normally, but I think that's a pretty good test uh, for this axe. I'm very happy with how it uh, with how it held up, how the edge held up. The steel seems to be very good, and held up too. <laughs> happy about that. A little relieved. So last night got too dark to film, uh, and so I'm going to stack up the firewood today and give my final thoughts for now on the Rinaldi Milano. So <laughs> I really like it. Uh, this axe was uh, quite effective for such a small axe at cutting firewood. Obviously, if if you you know want an axe to do that uh, all the time, I would go with a heavier axe, even a boy's axe. Um, it's just a lot is a lot heavier than this, but for the weight it really can get work done And if this is the axe that you have uh, You can cut firewood with it and it would be a great uh, Tripping axe like for for bushcraft camping things like that um, Because it can do a lot, but it doesn't weigh a lot So the head is 600 grams and the handle I weigh this handle this handle weighs 300 grams. So that is 900 grams that is almost exactly two pounds which is very very light for a tool that can do as much as this one can i think where it really shines is uh the kind of green woodworking hewing um sort of thing that i originally wanted it for one of the really nice things about slip fits is that you can have more than one handle and so i can swap it out and do the, do the one-handed carving and stuff, or use it as kind of a belt axe, or in a supporting role, certainly for, you know, entangled up brush and stuff, which is what I spent a lot of time dealing with. Uh, this was amazing. You know, the long radius, like the, the, the gradual curve, um, is, is most well suited for carving, so I think that's what this axe is really good at. Um, Urban Lumberjack, uh, on his channel, um, he got one of these recently, and he um, what he did is he modified it a bit uh, and ground away a little bit here uh, so that he get his finger underneath uh, for for better carving. And I think I think that's a good idea. I might I might try to do that, but as it is, it's pretty good because the the pole doesn't come down, so you can still actually get your hand pretty far up, um, and it's it's quite comfortable to use. So. I, I like it as it is, but maybe uh, maybe I will try that modification. Uh, the Rinaldi axes are, you know, they're working tools. Rinaldi makes uh, working tools, axes, bill hooks, uh, striking implements, all sorts of things for industrial applications and things like that. You know, this is a high quality tool, but it's not really expensive. I'm not afraid to modify it. They are hand forged, so they're not. They're not die forged, so each one is a little bit different. Um, the priority is on making it making it effective. So, you know, the 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 finishing is a bit rough. You might have to file down some burrs, as, as I did, um, but that's all right. I I like I like what they're doing, and I like the price that they're able to do that. So, uh, yeah, I I really recommend them from that standpoint. Um, one of the things that's worth mentioning, uh, if I didn't already. Is that for the Milano specifically? Um, that eye is well suited to putting a wedge fit handle on. So you uh, have seen people uh, that have done it. They're around uh, on the internet, and yeah, if you wanted to commit to one handle, um, you could easily uh, probably just buy a, a handle from a hardware store. You could get to fit that pretty easily, or you could make your own. Um, so yeah, if you if you like a wedge fit, you want to commit. Uh, to that, this this little axe would certainly lend itself to that. Anyway, yeah, very happy with Rinaldi. Very happy that uh, Lacognate carries these, and I can now order them in Canada without having to uh, pay the entire overseas shipping cost. So, 
yeah, that's uh, that's great, and uh, really recommend these.